Dominoes Tuesday. Will the dominoes start to fall on Tuesday, which is today? Welcome to episode 171 of College Football's Peek Around the Corner with your host, Greg Flugar. We cover everything in college football because we love everything in college football. And if you do as well, please subscribe to our channel. Smash that like button. Share the video with your family and friends. Let's not waste any more time. We're going back in time. Here on episode 171, we're going to be going through a March 16th uh, statement that John Cazano made on ESPN 750. We're also going to be going back and looking at CBS Sports' Dennis Dodd, what he said on March 16th. Remember, we are today, March 21st, Tuesday. So let's go back in time. Let's go back in time. Let's first do the John John Canzano 750 the game bald face truth. John Canzano Canzano says the Pac-12 dominoes will start falling on Tuesday. Again, this is back to March 16th. Media rights remains at the top of the agenda, and John Canzano says the finish line is in sight. I think this meeting coming up next Tuesday is really important, Kanzano said, Wednesday on 7.50 the game. I do think there's some motivation from the presidents and chancellors to wrap this, to wrap this thing up. Kanzano says he expects new players like Amazon and Apple to be part of the media deal in addition to ESPN. I do think what's going to happen is I think the Pac-12 is going to end up with ESPN for its tier one rights. I think you're going to see Apple and Amazon come in with a streaming service for the two tier rights. The Pac-12 network games, I think it will be all blended together. Kazano also said there could be news on conference expansion with the Pac-12, even before a media rights deal is finalized and that San Diego State and SMU are the leaders in the clubhouse to be invited. I think we might get that expansion news before we get the media rights news, Kazano said. What I'm thinking is SMU and San Diego State will probably be informed by the Pac-12. Hey, we're extending an invitation or we're not prior to the announcement of the deal because they're not going to want to be left going, hey, we have a deal. And a day later, oh, we're announcing SMU and San Diego State. So I almost expect we're going to get a leak on the expansion front first. Okay, again, I'm going to wait to give all my comments until at the, uh, at the end of the article, but I have to say, isn't Kazano sort of leaking the media rights deal as he perceives it right now in this statement on March 6, 16th, five days ago, when he said ESPN Tier 1 blended together coverage with Amazon and Apple TV for Tier 2 rights and what would be on, uh, on the Pac-12 networks in years gone by. Isn't that sort of leaking what he perceived? Anyways, um, but he says, I almost expect we're going to get a leak on the expansion front first. Okay, we'll continue on. Should the Pac-12 successfully announce expansion in Southern California with San Diego State and the state of Texas with SMU while also securing media rights valued in a range comparable or surpassing the Big 12's most recent deal? Kazano says the folks in Big 12 country Will not be happy. I just don't think the chicken littles out there are looking at the sky saying, oh, the Pac-12 is imploding. Oh, the imminent demise. I think in the end they're going to end up holding the bag. I don't see the 12 anons of the QAnon Big 12 people. I don't see the 12 anons walking away just feeling good. Uh, John Canzano getting real personal with the Big 12 fan base. If you're a fan of the Pac-12, circle next Tuesday, March 21st on your calendar. That is when the Pac-12 CEO group meets next. They will not meet again until April 10th. So circle March 21st on your calendar. Circle it. Circle it. What's the day today? The date? It's March 21st. Today is March 21st. So we should see dominoes start falling today. Exactly what are those dominoes? What exactly are we supposed to see today? Just yesterday, Andrew Mashan, 
of Sports Business Journal says ESPN and the Pac-12 are not close to a deal. John Aran spent a day, or spent some time in an interview with John Canzano and basically was very pessimistic that a deal was anywhere close. But yet Canzano said on March 16th, here on March 21st, we'll start to see dominoes fall for the Pac-12. My question is, are there going to be positive dominoes that fall today on March 21st? Let's look at, uh, let's take a look at what Dennis Dodd wrote on March 21st. CBS Sports interview with Robbins. Uh, I'm just going to go over the part of too much streaming because this is the domino piece I think we all should be looking at. I'm going to be specific here at Peek Around the Corner. Too much streaming. Robin's thought you can go in the article, read the whole thing. Again, this was five days ago. But I'm just comparing the Dennis Dodd interview with Robbins compared to what Casano thought was going to happen on March 21st today. Robbins was asked what concerns persist about the large parts of the Pac-12 games being shown on a streaming partner rather than linear television. A large streaming present would almost certainly means problems regarding visibility and subsequently recruiting. CBS Sports has reported that more than 50% of the Pac-12 games could be exclusive to streaming. Robin says he never heard that discussion within the conference. No way is it going to be all streaming. Now, of course, Dennis Dodd, CBS reports, they never said it was going to be all streaming. They said it could be more than 50% of the Pac-12 games could be exclusive to streaming. But Robin says, no way is it going to be all streaming. Nobody's going for that. Over 50%? No, I don't think so. I think that's too much. Is it okay if it's 50-50? You have to remember, guys our age, people that I went to high school with, aren't going to want to deal with streaming. I don't think it will be more than 50%. But if it ended up at 50%, this is Robbins, University of Arizona president, University of Arizona president, I think it would be okay. But we are the West Coast. We have to recruit the whole nation. If the football coaches come back and say, are you out of your mind? We're the final decision makers without a question, but we're going to heavily consult our ADs and coaches and all that stuff. I think that's the domino we should all be watching. We've said it from the very get-go. On October 30th, when Big 12 made their deal, media deal with Fox Sports and ESPN, it was all about the visibility. We didn't, we never really focused on the money. The visibility, the problems with visibility, exposure in their next media deal, that was going to be the issue for the Pac-12. That could make schools look to, towards going to the Big 12. That is the motivation. You just, Robin said this five days ago. We got to get to 50-50. Like true 50% linear. Now, we know, or Andrew Marchand report, we reported that ESPN and the Pac-12 are not close to a deal. Monday. Today's Tuesday. You remember the day we're supposed to circle? According to John Cazano, the dominoes will start falling. You have to look at the Arizona piece. Weeks and weeks ago here, peek around the corner, we received letters from the Arizona State Money Perch who's been now in the story from the very beginning. He said that Arizona and Arizona State, Arizona is not the state that's really integrated with streaming. They're consumers, the demographics. We talked about that weeks ago. We read the letter here live on peek around the corner. Arizona schools were very, very hesitant. Very, very hesitant on putting a whole bunch of their content on streaming in the year 2024, 2025, 2026. Very hesitant. And then, of course, that was weeks ago we talked about it. Weeks ago that we read the letter. Early March, late February from the Arizona State Perch here at Peak Around the Corner. And then you have University of Arizona Robbins just happen to be talking about that streaming component. No way can it be all streaming. No, we can't do more than 50%. 50-50, mm, that might work. But we're going to have to heavily consult 
our athletic director, our coaches, and our staff to make that work. That's the domino everyone has to watch. Is this really going to be an Apple TV, heavily Apple TV run media package for the Pac-12? Is Apple TV going to get most or all the content and sub-license out to other linear networks, small linear networks, maybe some big ones? What a gamble. What a huge gamble that would be. Would the Arizona schools, would the presidents really buy into that? That's the domino. When John Canzano, let's go back. When John Canzano said Pac-12 dominoes will start falling on Tuesday. I listened to him. I read this. I've been listening to him. I do not know what specifically, what domino piece he's saying is going to fall. But here I peek around the corner, the domino piece that you're going to have to pay attention to is that linear versus streaming because that is the wedge point. That would be the motivation. If any Pac-12 school, if any of them moves out from the Pac-12, schools are that they want to be with, their peers, none of them want to leave. That was never the question. The question is would one or more of them feel like they're being forced to leave the athletic conference, the PAC conference. And it was going to be all around visibility, the streaming component. That is the domino that we all have to be watching here in the next days and weeks and probably not months. This is going to wrap up sooner rather, sooner or later. It's probably going to be sooner. So put down your thoughts and comments in the comment section below the video. Let me know everything that I got wrong here on episode 171. Until next time, from all of us at PATC to all of you, please, please, you all take good care of each other. Thank you so very much.